Hi Capricorn. Welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today I'm going to be getting your messages for the upcoming week. Before I do that, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me in through your nose and out through your mouth. You ready? Here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some angel numbers um, and I will post the meaning of these numbers in the comments after I post um, the video. So your number today is 7, 9, 4. Alright, I'll write that down real quick. This is cat. Seven, nine, four, and okay. All righty, let's grab tarot. Well, that was quick. All right. You have three of wands, eight of swords, three of swords, page of cups, and the tower. Oh boy. Okay, cat. This might be a tough read. We'll see. You got two threes here, so next week if you see three three, just know your angels are looking out for you. They're just letting you know that, hey, we're here, we're supporting you, you're going to be okay. Um, three of Wands are saying that, you know, you're waiting for your ships to come in. You want them. They're just not here yet. They're coming, though. They're on their way. Trust that. You're in your head. You're trapped in fear about something probably that heartache right there with that three swords um maybe you feel like why am i feeling like you feel like you don't deserve love and that can't be further from the truth we all deserve love and we all are loved especially from um people who have crossed our guides um, yeah, you are in, in, in a fear of your, in a trap of your own making. You, all you need to do is take off that blindfold. It's not as bad as you're making it out to be. I know you have heartache here. You know, the page is saying somebody's going to reach out to you. You're going to be hearing from somebody. And I have a feeling it's going to cause another tower moment. The tower is when something crumbles or it's sudden change or it's just making room for, it's just getting rid of the old and making room for something new, right? So something is definitely crumbling and I feel like there's going to be a sudden change again. Usually the page brings happy news, but, and maybe they are bringing happy news, but I still feel like they're going to cause another tower moment. So maybe somebody's coming, trying to weasel way, weasel their way back in, I, and it's going to blow up, either in your face or theirs. I don't know, Capricorn. Let's get some more message. Let's get some more cards to see where this is going. I hope I'm wrong about that, and I, I apologize for your uh, heartache here. I don't like feeling heartache. And I apologize for the puppies making too much noise. Nine of Wands. Three of Pentacles. The Star. Justice. Okay, so it's saying that you have the strength to get through this. It's not over. You're still going through it. Next week, you're still going to be going through it. Um, 
but you will be rewarded for, for your efforts. Like, but justice will be served. Like balance will be restored. Like you will be recognized and you will be rewarded. You have the star card, which is hope, which is, you know, a wish fulfillment. So something good is coming. It's just not coming next week. <laughs> next week, you're still going through it with the nine of wands. But you have, you, you know, there's, there's hope here. So that there's, there's hope. That means anything's possible. A miracle can happen. Don't fall. Got it. I caught it. <laughs> we have trust your path. Pallades. You're already doing it. All right. So trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So, all right. First of all, this is saying that you are on the right path. And even though things happen that we don't like, or it might upset us and might break our hearts, um, we're still going in the right direction. There's a reason for everything. And if you knew that you were going to be supported and you knew that somebody amazing is coming your way in the near future, would you hold off for it? Or would you still sit in this heartache? Because it's saying trust that things are going to get better. Trust that something amazing is going to happen for you. Pallades is saying raise your vibration. Once you raise your vibration, you're going to raise the vibration of the planet and the others around you, right? So by uplifting yourself, you're going to uplift others close to you, which will then create a ripple effect. And that uplifts humanity as a whole and that's the goal we are in this process right now the vibration of earth is rising more and more people are awakening more and more people are coming into their spiritual gifts so they want us to continue to do that earth needs to get to the next level so anyway um i'm sorry these puppies my daughter might be coming home you're already doing it. So stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north, right? Keep facing. You're like, you're on the right path. You you chose correctly. There was two paths you can choose, and you chose the right one. So you're on the right path. You know where you're going. You know where you're headed. You know it's going to be amazing. Just keep doing what you're doing. Hungry ghosts, oof, and the chess queen. Okay, so hungry ghosts, it's all about um, focusing too much on the past um, and like having this like strong desire to know what the future brings. When you do that, when you are either living in the past or living in the future, you don't get to experience your true presence your true present we need to live in the now you know living in the past brings depression living in the future brings anxiety why do you want any of that you want to live in the here and now you want to take each moment as they come and try and enjoy each moment the best that you can so that's what that card is saying um the chess queen. What's it say? Trust, strategize. Okay, again, this is about trusting your path and knowing that you're going in the right direction, knowing that that spirit is guiding you, knowing that, that there there is a divine plan, right? You know, sometimes there's your plan and sometimes there's the divine plan. And what do you think is better? You can follow your plan that's not a problem because we all have free will but it's going to take you twice as long to get to your destination as it is if you would just follow the divine plan so the divine plan 
It will be given to you. You just have to listen. They're guiding you. They're nudging you. You know, trust your gut. Even if you want to go a different direction, trust your gut. If your gut tells you to go one way, it's it's spirit nudging you saying, this is the divine plan. Wake up. Follow the divine plan. It's going to be easier for you in the long run. I promise. But humans have free will. So if you want to take the long the long way to get there, go ahead. Might not be as fun. Transformation, Archangel Zachiel. Thank you, Zachiel, for supporting me to transform from my past challenges. So yeah, this is just saying that he's helping you heal. You learned, you you learned from something, you learned from this heartache, right? It was a lesson. It was a growing experience. So that's good because now you're a step closer to your destiny. Good. Playfulness. So get out, have fun. Spend some time with your friends. Just let the heartache go. Don't, you know, don't keep obsessing about what happened or why it happened or that if it's going to happen again don't don't do that just let it go relax go out have some fun um play play maybe you'll meet somebody if you go out and play a loyal guardian a magical protector is there for you so you definitely have somebody on the other side who is um you know protecting you and guiding you and trying to get you to stay on the right path so if you do have somebody who's crossed um, it's probably likely them if not then it's one of your guardian angels they're fiercely protected of you anyway let's grab some charms All right, so you got the chakra um, charm. So that means that you need to be back in balance. Like things are out of whack right now. So <sighs> take a deep breath, center yourself, maybe ground if you know how to do that and get those chakras back in alignment because you are the phoenix and you are going to rise from the ashes. You are transforming. You are becoming somebody different oh you got double so that means this is a big step up um this glow up i should say right this is a big huge glow up for you um you have the double arrow so you are going in the right direction you have an angel looking out for you you are being supported by somebody from the other side you are Okay, here's a dog bone. So either you're like a dog with a bone who doesn't want to let go of something, holding on to something too tightly, or you just have real determination to make things better. Either way, adjust that a little bit. Okay? Um, you have the ball, the basketball, and the football. So with playfulness here, it means just go out, have some fun, you know, maybe like be a kid again, you know, play games with somebody, not mental head games, but actual fun games. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I coughed. I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm trying to think of what else. I don't know. I think that's all I have for you, Capricorn. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, please give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel because that really does help me. And I'm 
so grateful to you to do that. And, uh, yeah, until next time, love and light.